Hey, hey, woke up from a little nap here, and it looks like it's 11-11 right now. So if you're into synchronicities or funny numbers and things like that, we got that going for us. I worked a quality control job until around 6, and then I had some food with my friend. We went out and had some food, we had some Thai food, very delicious. Came back here, and I thought that I would sleep off some of this Thai food. And I wake up now at 11-11, and I had some very strange dreams. I had some strange dreams uh, that were kind of likened to the strange ones that you might have had when you were in high school, like those uh, classic dreams we hear about from people that had uh, dreams where they show up to school and they are naked or not prepared or anxious about some test and things like that. And I haven't had these dreams in a long time. And I think what they're coming from is from these uh, plans I have to go back to school and take this exam. And there's a little bit of anxiety there and this feeling that I don't have much time uh, to study or to prepare or in general before all these things inevitably happen to me. Um, pretty exciting, not just to me, but to us, me and my family. And in general, there's, there's more on the table than just that, more than just these new things happening, coming up in the future with my life. But collectively speaking, we have a lot going on uh, in our society with uh, all of the variants happening, all of the money that's been printed up, and all of the inflation that's hit already, and all the inflation to come in the future. It's an exciting time to be alive, not just for me, but for all of us out there. And there's a lot going on all at once, and it's very much overwhelming. And I'll cite the book Future Shock by Alvin Toffler once again. I've talked about this book a number of times here in my channel, and it's fascinating. It talks about this state of condition that we're all currently in, and he labeled it future shock. It's a state of all of us being overwhelmed. And because all of us are overwhelmed with the acceleration of change and the rapid increase of technology, and we're all in a state of just awe and uh, shock over the change and how, it's, how it affects our lives on a daily basis or even a, a yearly basis, and, uh, or on a yearly basis, much less a daily basis. It's the, how fast change is accelerating. And it looks a lot like how our, uh, how our uh, well, our, our cryptocurrency charts, look, they're going like vertically up and then they're, they're, they're falling back down and jagged because nothing can go up forever like that. You can't just go a straight line like this and then shoot up like that. I mean, eventually you have to have it down. But yeah, those are some very strange dreams. I haven't had those in a long time. And I'm wondering if I have to get used to those again, if they're going to start coming back. But hey, that's why I'm up here in my bed, in my bedroom, giving you this little video today. Because I need to give you something every single day. Because that's been my promise. Post every single day for the year of 2021. And we're almost to the end of this year. And it's been a trip. It's been a very educational experience. And I've gotten a lot out of it. And I uh, look forward to making more videos in the future by next year. But I'm going to slow it down quite a bit because I got a lot to deal with. I got to take my T's exam for the occupational therapist assistant program I'm going to apply for. I'll have a little baby girl running around. Uh, I'll have a little puppy as well. We'll already have a little puppy, but you know, we'll be living to together in that situation with uh, the puppy, the cat, and a little daughter. And... The more I think about it, the more excited I get. I know it's it can be a little scary sometimes looking forward to all those changes and everything, but I think it's just the kind of changes I need in my life to uh, become a better person. But thanks for watching, everybody, and and yeah, be on the lookout for all those changes happening in your own life. I know you are already, but but collectively, also all of the the global changes we'll be facing in the future. Um, Hopefully they're, they're good changes. Hopefully they're good ones for long term. But be that as it may, like with all the changes, whether they're good or bad, I guess change is good ultimately. Not in every circumstance, but you got to go with it. You have to adapt. And uh, when it comes to inflation and all of the changes we're going through globally, sometimes things that happen are blessings in disguise. And I guess you can always find a way to look for the good and the bad. Um, and you can always find a way to find the bad and the good, too. It's all a matter of perspective. And I guess that's what they mean when they say, 
we create our reality. We have these subjective opinions and interpretations is a good word of what is going on in reality. And I think that's how we truly create our own reality is through our interpretations of what's going on. And I guess that's something else I've been thinking out a lot about lately. I don't know, folks. Food for thought. Thanks for tuning in and listening to a, a weird guy with uh, unkept hair wake up from a nap and tell you about vague uh, details. Not even details, just just generalizations about how his dreams went. But I don't know. I think our dreams can tell us a lot about how who we are, who we are as individuals and and how we are perceiving the world we live in and how much anxiety we have, how much happiness we have, how much fear we have, how much pleasure we have and so on. So, yeah. Thanks for listening to what I have to say. Appreciate it very much. Post it every single day of this year, as you may or may not know. You can check out my playlist section and see all of my content I've made organized in the playlist. And you can see what it's like to post every single day of the year and and uh, what it can do, at least if you're, if you're this guy right here. Uh, so, yeah, please check that out. Know that I post weekly circus and flow arts tutorials. I've gotten a lot out of the circus and flow arts. It's really helped me uh, maintain a steady level of focus, and it's been a good way for me to stay happy, having something to focus on and something to level up on and, and practice and perfect. It's been a great source of happiness and of uh, confidence and uh, uh, coordination and circulation in the, in the joints in the body been a beautiful thing. So please check out my playlist to look at the content I've made this year as well as the Circus and Floor Arts tutorials. And I'll end it now. Remember to never give up and to do your best to stay true to you and to be amazing. We'll talk next time. Till then, sweet dreams. Good night.